These things shape us, but what else shapes us? We're also the product of our mistakes. We're the product of our successes. I mentioned my injury, we're the product of our injuries as well. So I, I saw a, a program the other, the other night on TV where uh, a man working in a circus, you, you may have seen this, where you're supposed to get a stick and you're supposed to and lift the latch and lift the thing and put the lions or the tiger's food into the cage. But he said, oh, so much quicker just to reach your hand and lift it up. He said he put his hand in, lifted up as soon as he did it, the tiger grabbed his hand, munch, grab the neck, munch, grab the neck, munch, grab the next one, munch. And by the time the ambulance came, there was, I could see bone in the tiger's mouth. And they took him to hospital. And before they gave him any injections, they said, are you allergic to anything? This guy was a POM. You've got to understand that, POM. He said, are you allergic to anything? He said, yes, tigers. <laughs> the doctor said, OK, we're going to try and stitch your arm back on. Where is it? In the tiger's belly. And it was amazing the sense of humor he had. And I saw an interview that he did three years after the event, and he's now got no arm, he's got a thing. And he's quite, he's quite, you know, it was my fault, it happened, and he's moved on. You know, I actually think of life like that, and that's an obvious amputation. But sometimes the amputations that people experience in life are not obvious like that. They experience relationship breakdown, and they think, well, if I do this, everything will be back to the way it was without realising, no, quite possibly something's been amputated now. It will never be what it was. Sometimes when you go through grief, the, the I hate using this word, the loss of a loved one, it's, it is actually like coming to terms with an amputation. Something's missing and it won't be back. So these are the things that shape us.